Oh, oh no. Rod, you sent this email, reply all. You hit reply all. You know I was wrong. You just sent this email to me. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> For drivers who want to get the most out of your cars, Do I have to bribe somebody? Okay, who wants a CD? There we go. We'll have to use the American method here. We'll, we'll bribe her. Okay, Jennifer. You like that? Okay, good. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> the world looks different from up here, doesn't it? It's a whole new world. Yeah, look at that. Look at all these smiling people. So anyhow, Jennifer, I just brought you up here to tell you one thing. I'm beautiful. I really... <laughs> Thank you. Is this a plant? Is, is, is... No, I brought you up here to tell you I really don't like you. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. I thanks your thanks for coming up. That's good. I think I'm done. That's it. That's it. That's all I wanted to do. She did a great job on that. Thanks. And here's your CD. Now, wait, wait a minute. Let's think about what just happened there, though. I told her what? That's the words I used. And what did she do? And she thanked me. Now, what? what's with that? I give her words that are the 7% of the communication. 7% of your communication is your words, 38% is your voice tones, and 55% is your physiology. So because I was smiling and giving her good voice tones, it overrode, it totally overrode the purpose of the words. So I said to her, I don't like you, and she laughs and says, thank you. People out in the audience giggle because they could tell that I was overriding it with my physiology and my voice tones. This is why things go horribly wrong with email. Have you ever sent an email to somebody, you type it out, you even study it and are careful about it, you send it, and they get completely the wrong meaning out of it? Uh...